with, um, with B, the Rain the K pop singer. Um, then I have from like quote quote serious films. And this is my thought is I don't really trust these like super woke, serious, you know, emo, artsy filmmakers because they all tend to have tormented souls and they just like then them making the film is like a self catharsis for them which is okay but the the downside of that is that the vibes it gets off is very depressing and toxic and so when you as a viewer watch it you feel more miserable after the fact and this is a simple thing with media audio podcast video blogs blogs books articles like think about it physiologically after you consume the thing read the thing watch the thing experience the thing like how do you feel afterwards do you feel do you feel uplifted and hyped or do you feel more depressed and uh, pacified uh, uh, this is also the big problem i think with social media and working out and fitness videos whatever Mo like I don't know, I guess it could be motivational or dismotivational, like watching Eddie Hall deadlift over 500 pounds or watching Ronnie Coleman saying lightweight baby is actually quite motivational. But if you see other people on social media or on the internet who are way buffer or more famous or classful than you, then and it depresses you or it makes you feel envious or jealous, and that's probably uh, uh, not a good thing. So I'd recommend you to, uh, to cut that out. It's much superior to have a large clout with a smaller group of people than a mild or even a above average influence with a huge group. So I always think this to myself, right? Like, would you rather have the elite Spartan 300s willing to die for you and your country? Or would you rather have a million Persian slave um, hired soldiers who are essentially like verglings who could, you know, are are dispensable so i guess that's an analogy right it's like would you rather have a million zerglings or would you rather have like 300 archons or dark archons or whatever whatever starcraft analogy you want to do but um but anyways uh and think think long term right like for me my clout building has been over a decade now i'm uh, as of doing this video i'm 34 years old i'm born in 1988 I started my YouTube shenanigans and my blog I think in 2010 2011 and I'm still going strong